golf pool from the Lanchester Church. Let's try that again. Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, everybody. Great to see everybody here. I am Mayor John Huffman, and it is my privilege to welcome you all to the Bob Jones Park for this really, really special unveiling of the city of New York. Uh, the city of Bob Jones and Chisholm Jones. So I'm proud to be mayor and a citizen of a community that takes its public art so seriously and that invests not only in beautiful art, but art that means something, art that matters to us as a community and matters to you as citizens. So there are a lot of people I have to thank, um, and since I have a politician, I'll be thanking them all. Um, I want to thank, first of all, our current council, some of whom are here. We have Dep uh, Mayor Pro Tem Jim Catton, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem Randy Williamson, we have Councilwoman Kimberly Talley here, we have Councilman Rendell Smith, uh, we have Councilman Randy Robbins, Councilwoman Nancy Torres left. Um, along with this, with this whole council, um, I'm proud to say that our dedication to public art will continue. Um, and we want to make sure we are bringing these pieces to the city of South Lake and this community anytime we have a chance. I would also like to commend our previous city council who 20 years ago named this park after Bob Jones. Um, there were choices, and we chose those, that council established that legacy to honor Bob and Almeida Chisholm Jones. And we're very, very thankful and glad that they did. Um, art in all of its forms is so vital to a city and each one of our communities. South Lake has shown a stat steadfast commitment to the arts over the years. We've unveiled public art in roundabouts, parks, and civic facilities all over town. And today's celebration is just another example of bringing that public art to our citizens. And today we're incredibly proud to add this interactive piece of art to a place where so many people can enjoy it. So life for Bob and Almeida Chisholm Jones, according to family members, centered around their home and their children. We are excited that this piece depicts part of that life and the togetherness that Bob and Almeida Chisholm Jones always prepare to sit down for a picnic and it includes favorite foods and time spent with beloved family and friends. So first I'd like to invite our, our Arts Council Chairman, Tamara McMillan, to come up and tell us a little bit more about the art and about the artist. Tamara, come on up. South Lake Arts Council, it brings me a lot of joy to see this community come together in recognition of the arts. The Arts Council was founded in 2007 and it was established, thank you, <laughs> it was established as an advisory board in all matters of public art. At the, in that time, we have had the opportunity to bring public art to the city roundabouts, facilities, and parks. Before we learn a little bit more about the sculpture, I would like to take a moment to recognize the current and past members of the South Lake Arts Council who've been instrumental in these efforts. Jessica Cook, our Vice Chair, Beatrice Parasos, Secretary, Terry Messing, Heather Engelberg, and Deanna Kennis. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication to the arts, and it's an honor to serve alongside you. Today we have the honor to dedicate the Bob and Almeida Chisholm Jones Monument by Seth Vandable. Seth? <laughs> this piece depicts Bob and Almeida Jones enjoying a freshly harvested summer meal after a hard day's work at farming and teaching their 10 children. Bob and Almeida are dressed in period attire, welcoming visitors to sit with them, enjoy, a meal and ponder the meaningful part of South Lake history and its bearing on the city's future. The portraits are welcomely like this, while still reflecting the measure of determination required to meet the challenges they face and the burdens that they carry. The sculpture is designed to the ground, which highlights the possible fruits and goods that would have been harvested in the area, making it interesting from every angle. We are delighted to add this piece to the growing collection of Art in South Lake, while also highlighting the history of the Great Jones family. As an aside, uh, before I introduce the next, uh, the Anita Roberson, I want to thank the Jones family. Several members were very, very involved in helping us come up with a concept for this sculpture. Their input was so important to us. There were a lot of texts and emails going around, and we really, really appreciate 
appreciate your assistance. Thank you so much. And now I would like to introduce Southlake Historical Society, Anita Robeson, to the podium. Hello. As noted, I'm Anita Robeson. I'm a past president and currently the historian of the Southlake Historical Society. I hope that you all have had a chance to see the exhibit that we put together last year. Unfortunately, we couldn't have a reception and do all the extra things because of COVID. But you can see the exhibit at the Nature Center and also online at southlakehistory.org. And at the end of that exhibit, we have a lot of additional information about the family uh, and for being so generous to loan us pictures and textiles and sculpture commemorating Bob and Almeida Chisholm Jones and their family's commitment to friendship and community. Our exhibit opens a window into the important role that African Americans play in the development of the South Lake uh, community. The Jones family worked tirelessly to boost the area's prosperity and to make it a better place for everyone to live. What better evidence of Bob Jones's character than the fact that 500 people, both black and white, attended his funeral, and that South Lake continues to honor him and his wife today. To learn the Jones story, we sought the assistance of family members, uh, including Bill Jones. Born in 1939, he is the last remaining grandchild of Bob and Almeida. He grew up near here on Jones land Please welcome Bill Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor, and the council people that are responsible in, in uh, bringing this about, um, and the thoughtfulness that went into to this presentation, uh, presentation today. Um, I'd like to extend my deep appreciation and thanks to all the individuals that are responsible for this noble occasion and inviting me here. I have to say a few words on behalf of the Jones family. To have op an opportunity to witness and celebrate a statue dedicated to my grandfather, John Dalford Jones, by name of Bob, and Almeida Chisholm Jones, is just a heartwarming experience. Historians of the area tell us that Bob Jones arrived in Texas from Arkansas uh, as a nine-year-old slave with his father and master, Leaver Alvis Jones, who brought him, his mother, and his brother and three sisters to Roanoke. He was 15 when he was emancipated in 19, uh, 1865 and began his journey toward becoming one of the prominent landowners, ranchers, and citizens of the region. Almeida and Bob married in 1875 and had 10 children, most of whom remained in the rural uh, Roanoke area and continued the legacy of their parents. In particular, uh, Emery, who was my father, and his brother Jink, who raised cattle and horses on nearby land Tribute that part of the original property is now preserved in the Bob Jones Park and 
nature center. I'm the youngest of the last of Bob and Almeida's 24 grandchildren. No Jones descendant carries on the ranching tradition or lives in the area at present, but new generations of Jones descendants have an opportunity to visit the property and remember our past with pride. Thanks to all of you who research and interest in the historical aspects of the region that honors the legacy of Bob and Almeida and the preservation of portions of the property that establishes a part of the nation. again to Tamara, to Anita, and to Dr. Jones. For everyone for being here, let me, in closing, if you have this just to exhort everyone here to remember ultimately why we're honoring Bob and Amiti Chisholm Jones, why we do so, and every generation of South Lake leadership chooses to do that. We are remembering their legacy, a legacy of hard work, determination, and business success as Bob and Amiti were born in sla slavery but rose to be some of the most successful ranchers in the entire area. It's a legacy of community building that Bob and Amini Chisholm built one of the area's very first schools that operated until it burned down in the 60s, as well as building a number of churches and community buildings in the area. And it's a legacy of courage as Jinx and Emery opened up the cattle barn and what most historians believe was the first integrated cafe in all of Texas, right there on 114 and Whitechapel. They didn't care about what the culture said. They were going to do what's right. That's the legacy that we celebrate today. That's the legacy that we get to celebrate every time we come visit this awesome statue. So I would invite the members of the Jones family now to come on up. And uh, anybody who can or wants to, grab a, grab a hold of the canvas before we unveil it. Come on up. Anybody who wants to be a part of it. On the count of three, let's unveil this thing. Come on up. Okay, South Lake, count down with me. One, two, three. Congratulations again to the Jones family and the artists. Thank you guys so much for attending today. Please hang out for a little bit. We have uh, food coming online in sh shortly. Now please come enjoy the statue. Thank you so much for being here.